Wellness Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, the CUNY Central Office of Veterans Affairs will be hosting an online meeting with guest speakers that vary from week to week from a wide array of organizations providing resources and information to student veterans as well as the New York veteran population. Um, okay. Profit organization based in New Jersey. Um, yes. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, so as I mentioned, we're a nonprofit and our mission is to uh, aid economically disadvantaged families, children, um, and individuals. We have a number of different programs um, ranging from um, providing certain services, um, financial relief. Um, and we can get a little bit more into that. I'm sure what everybody would like to know about is our veteran programs. Um, so we have two veteran programs. One is the veteran wellness program, and it really operates as kind of like a legal checkup. So think of when you're going to the doctor for your yearly checkup and you kind of just let them know everything that's going on. Um, that's what our veteran wellness program is. Uh, we have a virtual, well, Originally, it was a walk-in clinic at the VA hospital in East Orange. Um, due to COVID-19, we have transitioned to having a virtual clinic. We have this virtual clinic once a month, and um, veterans can call in, pre-register. There is an intake that needs to be done um, to determine certain eligibility requirements. And then they meet with our volunteer attorney teams. Um, our volunteer come from uh, Panasonic, from McGuire Woods, from Nook Freeman, from BASF. So we do have um, really great partners that we work with and our veterans can meet with those volunteer teams and really go over um, whatever legal issues they may be having or any issues that they may be having that may not have legal remedies. Um, depending on what that issue is, they may then be referred to some of our other programs. So the programs that VLJ provides assistance with are um, filing for divorce in New Jersey, debt relief, this includes um, consumer relief, uh, consumer debt relief, and um, bankruptcy filings. Uh, we also provide assistance with driver's license restorations regarding um, New Jersey uh, suspensions. So we do have clients that will sometimes have suspensions in New York, in New Jersey, um, and in Pennsylvania, and we can only provide assistance for New Jersey because we are a New Jersey organization. Um, that does not mean that if a veteran happens to be living in New York and has a New Jersey matter, that they are um, excluded from our services. In that case, they can still um, contact us and attend our virtual clinic. Uh, we also provide assistance with expungement. Um, if they have children who um, have like kind of an, a special education issue, we do also provide services with that. Um, in a limited capacity, we also provide services regarding uh, child support modification or emancipation. Um, and again, those all have to be um, New Jersey based issues. Um, as I mentioned before, there is an intake that needs to be done um, for our virtual wellness clinic. There, anybody can come in. It, it's not really limited um, to any financial uh, requirement for our virtual clinic. If they are then being referred to our divorce clinic or our expungement program or anything like that, they do have to meet the financial um, eligibility requirements for those programs. As I mentioned before, we are uh, very focused on providing uh, legal support to dis economically disadvantaged families. And so there is a financial requirement that comes with most of our other programs. Um, it's just this particular clinic where uh, we, can, we can provide assistance to uh, any veteran who has any kind of questions. Um, again, so long as it's you know, related to New Jersey. Um, we do also have our PSENG clinic, which is more focused on the child support um, assistance for veterans and um, for the driver's license restoration. We help veterans prepare letters to different municipalities, negotiate surcharge payments um, if their license is suspended in relation to a child support order. We help them file um, a, a very straightforward pro se application um, requesting that suspensions be lifted and uh, so on. 
um, for our veteran program, we also don't have any um, geographic limitations in the sense that anyone, if you're in New York, if you're in Pennsylvania, and if you're in South Jersey and you have a legal issue in New Jersey, um, you, everyone is welcome to come. For some of our other programs, it is a little bit more limited based on what county you're in. Um, and so that is something that we have to take into consideration when um, referring back within our programs. Um, and there are certain areas that we don't provide assistance with. Um, the easiest one that we get more questions about, which we unfortunately can't provide services for, is criminal matters. Um, the closest we get to criminal is expunging your record. Um, so we, do, we can't provide assistance regarding criminal matters and um, certain litigation, so like personal injury matters, we don't necessarily provide assistance with. Um, and I know another one that comes up a lot is discharge upgrades, but that one, while VLJ can't um, or doesn't have the program to provide assistance with discharge upgrades, we do have a number of partners that we provide referrals to. So that's the other thing with the, uh, virtual, with the virtual wellness clinic is that if it's not something that we do, we're gonna find someone who does. So it's still in the best interest of the veterans to come to our clinic and discuss whatever legal issue they have because if we can't do it, we're gonna find someone, either we know someone or we're gonna find someone who is gonna be able to provide assistance with that, um, whatever the legal issue is or whatever the matter is, and um, so that we can point our veterans in the right direction at the very least. My name is Tyler Lefson. I'm, an, I'm a staff attorney for LIFT, uh, which stands for Legal Information for Families Today. Um, LIFT is a nonprofit. Uh, we provide free legal information um, and advice on matters that take place in New York City Family Court or New York Family Court in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be just in, this, in the five boroughs, uh, but it is, ha does have to be uh, in regard to uh, family courts and family law issues in the concerning New York law. Um, primarily we help with child support, custody, visitation, and uh, domestic violence issues. Um, the assistance we can provide is a limited scope. We do not provide full legal, full legal representation. Um, our service model is more designed to uh, successfully help uh, litigants in family court represent and advocate for themselves. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we can provide uh, information advice in a variety of areas, such as court procedure, paternity, child support, custody and visitation, and orders of protection. Um, and our legal advice can include things such as uh, legal strategy and research assistance, uh, recommendations for next steps, uh, help with drafting documents uh, for courts, uh, help with preparing evidence for hearings. Um, we can also help them uh, prepare for uh, evidentiary hearings or trials uh, by doing mock trial exercises. Um, we can also accompany litigants to courts for their hearings and debrief afterward. Um, and then we also provide ongoing follow-up and support. So if uh, you receive services, services from us once via like a consult, um, we're available for follow-ups as things evolve in your case. <clears throat> so while LIFT doesn't have a, a veterans program, uh, like a specific veterans program per se, um, we do want uh, service members and veterans know that uh, we're here to help them as well. And uh, uh, that we've, uh, that we're, we're available for them. Um, how can we help service members and veterans in particular though, in family courts? Um, service members and veterans have unique issues concerning the care and support of their families, um, such as uh, what to do in regard to the care of a child uh, when someone from the uh, reserves is called up uh, for active duty. Um, they may need to go to court and get a custody order um, or modify custody order to uh, provide for that situation where they may not be available to care for their uh, child for some time. Um, additionally, there are specific laws uh, that provide additional protection or apply to service members uh, and veterans in family court. Um, those include things like the uh, Service Member Civil Relief Act 
or uh, there are other particular laws uh, concerning child support and how veterans benefits are treated. Um, we've also prepared uh, a number of legal resource guides. Uh, they're basically uh, doc information documents focused on service members and veterans and family court. And they're available on our, on our website, um, uh, which is, uh, uh, you can just type in Lyft online, so L-I-F-T online to Google and our website will pop up first. Um, <clears throat> and then also as part of this presentation, I just wanted to provide an update on how the family court is handling the pandemic. Um, right now, uh, New York City family courts are, uh, have a limited capacity to conduct hearings and they're operating virtually, so there are no in-person uh, hearings. The courts are closed to the public and right now litigants still are not able to file new court petitions unless they are in, it's, unless it's an emergency or an essential issue. Um, and the court is accept, but the court is accepting requests for modifications of child support. So uh, it's requests, not filings. Um, uh, with my organization Lyft can help uh, you if you have, if you're needing to try to modify child support by, by submitting this request. And we can explain more about that during uh, that consult. Um, and further, uh, my organization, we've been operating remotely. Uh, we've been able to continue to assist um, our clients with information and advice, um, either by, on, by phone or by email. Um, you can call our helpline for assistance. That's probably the best way to access us. Uh, the phone number is 212-343-1122. Um, you can also visit our website. As I mentioned before, it's www.liftonline.org. And we also have some webinars on uh, YouTube that cover family law in, uh, in New York, as well as um, uh, child support modifications in New York. Uh, let me make sure. Also, just to reiterate, our services are free. We don't have any sort of like income uh, guideline requirements. Um, all, all we need to do is make sure that uh, uh, the other, we haven't represented the other party in the past, so we have to do a conflict check. And uh, yeah, and, and then again, it's just uh, concerning New York state law, uh, family law. So uh, thanks for your time and for listening. Hi everyone. Um, I am a staff attorney with a veteran justice project at Manhattan Legal Services. Um, Manhattan Legal Services is part of Legal Services NYC. We have offices in all five boroughs and we provide free legal, civil legal services to low income New Yorkers, um, including veterans. Um, as part of the veterans justice project, we provide advice, brief service, or full representation on a range of housing matters. Um, this includes non-payment cases as well as other eviction proceedings. We can also assist veterans who need to get repairs done and um, for their apartments and housing court. Um, and we also provide advice, brief service, or full representation on a range of different family law issues. Um, this could range from child custody to child support, as well as uncontested and contested divorces. And we assist veterans who need to secure income by helping them apply for social security benefits and or VA benefits. We also provide some advice or limited free service and full representation for administrative hearings, whether it is um, before the Social Security Administration or before the VA. We also provide um, legal representation on a wide range of consumer matters, um, such as bankruptcy, small claims, and um, contracts and warranties for veterans. Um, we define veteran very broadly, so it could be anyone who served in the military. Um, we do not care about the character of discharge. We also serve their family members 
as well as active duty members and reservists and their um, family members. So you can have a vet um, an active duty member who is living in Virginia or overseas and need representation in family court here or Supreme Court or housing court and we are able to represent that active duty service member. Um, Manhattan Legal Services also has a clinic um, that's located at the Manhattan VA Harper Medical Center at 23rd Street. Um, it's, it's called the Military Monday Clinic. It's, part, it's our partnership with SCADA and their corporate clients. We're there the first Monday of every month. Unfortunately, right now, the clinic is put on pause because of COVID-19. Um, and we're trying to figure a way out to reopen the clinic. Um, but the cl while the clinic was open, we provided advice um, on a range of different um, civil legal matters for um, veterans. We either will set up appointments for veterans or the veteran can walk into our clinic. It's from 1 to 3 p.m. every the first Monday of every um, month. And we provide advice on social security matters such as supplemental security income and um, social security disability insurance benefits. We will help veterans complete their application for um, SSI or SSD on the spot. We help veterans with um, housing issues, whether they want to um, complete pro se um, paperwork for HP case or receive some kind of advice relating to their housing court proceeding. We will help veterans with pro se downward child support modification applications, as well as provide advice on general um, family law matters, such as on contested divorce, child support, and child custody. And we also have an attorney there, or we had an attorney there who will help a veteran with um, advanced planning, such as wills, healthcare proxies, um, and power of attorneys. So we're trying to start up the clinic and we're looking, way, we're looking at ways in which we can help veterans. Um, even though we're no longer physically there, we're trying to work with the VA to do it maybe some kind of electronic way, such as Zoom or Skype. Um, Legal Services NYC also started a new program which we will help veterans apply for public assistance. Um, so the veteran can call our hotline um, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and they will be connected right away to either a paralegal or an attorney or a volunteer through LISNI that will help them complete application, applications for um, SNAP benefits, cash assistance, shelter allowance, and or Medicaid. Um, and any veteran can call, their family members can call to um, get assistance with um, these kind of applications. Again, um, the VJP, we, even though I just kind of listed the services that we provide to veterans, um, we have other resources and we have partnerships with other um, organizations and pro bono councils. So if a veteran needs help with a matter that I did not discuss, they can they should still call our hotline and we can see if we can place them one of with one of our um, partners. Thank you. So my name is Ryan Foley and I'm the supervising attorney of the Veterans Practice at New York Legal Assistance Group. Uh, NILAG is a not-for-profit civil legal services organization that advocates for adults, children, and families that are experiencing poverty or have low income. Uh, we address emerging and urgent issues with free civil legal services, direct representation, impact litigation, policy advocacy, financial counseling, medical legal partnerships, and community education and partnerships. Um, last year, our organization worked with over 90,000 people, and that included assisting more than 2,800 uh, more than 2,800 veteran cases. Uh, within NILAG, we have different units that assist with advanced planning, consumer protection, domestic violence, employment, immigration protection, public benefits, special education, and tenants' rights issues. And then we have two specific veteran programs, one that works as, out of legal health as a 
medical legal partnership and then the uh, program that I'm a part of within our public benefits unit known as the veterans practice. So I'm gonna let Sam talk a little bit about legal health and their medical legal partnership. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kubek. I'm a staff attorney at the New York Legal Assistance Group in the Legal Health Division, which is the nation's largest medical legal partnership, which means that we run legal clinics not during pandemic times on site, um, during this time it's virtually, but through, uh, medic, uh, through hospitals and other community care sites across New York City. Um, we're also in Westchester and Long Island. We are at 36 hospitals and community care sites across um, those areas, including three VA hospitals. So we have partnerships with the Manhattan VA, the Bronx VA, and the Northport VA in Long Island. And we run weekly clinics there. Um, at the Northport VA, we have a general veterans legal clinic for all veterans. At the Bronx and Manhattan VAs, in addition to that general clinic, we also have clinics specifically for women veterans. Um, we serve all veterans who are patients of those facilities. Um, so that's the only requirement. Discharge status um, is not a bar to services, although to some degree, because of the fact that discharge status can implicate people's ability to receive care at the VA, that sometimes uh, plays a factor here, but it doesn't matter for our purposes. And within those clinics, we serve veterans on a wide variety of civil legal issues. We do housing matters, veterans benefits, discharge upgrades, social security matters, family law, advanced planning, including wills, powers of attorney, healthcare proxies, and um, assisting with discharging student loans. Um, and all of these services are provided for free. Um, we require an appointment to meet with one of our attorneys. Um, in regular times, that appointment results in an in-person visit with one of our attorneys at the hospital where the veteran receives their care. Um, for now, we're doing telephone appointments, um, but veterans who receive care at one of those three hospitals can call our intake line at 212-659-6199, and they'll get connected with one of our intake specialists to uh, set them up with an appointment to meet with our attorneys. Uh, we provide a full range of services from advice and counsel through full representation. Um, every case requires an individual assessment in terms of what level of service we can provide. Um, but um, those are uh, the services provided through my piece of uh, NILAC. And then so recognizing that a lot of veterans may not have access to be able to use the VA or choose not to, um, the second part of NILAG's veterans program is the Public Benefits Unit's veterans practice. And so we don't, we, uh, we don't have any sort of restrictions on discharge status or whether or not you have any sort of VHA eligibility. Um, our clinic uh, offers regular offsite uh, opportunities, usually at shelters, at um, different residential treatment facilities, um, as well as some veteran service organizations, including the American Legion. Um, we also have a close referral relationship with dozens of other non-VA organizations, as well as offices of elected officials. And we are a network provider within Vet Connect NYC, which is the New York City's Department of Veterans Services referral coordination platform. So if you reach out to DVS, you may potentially get referred over to us. Um, we recognize that it's difficult for people to get in touch. So we try to offer as many different routes to get in touch with us as possible. Um, you can reach out directly to our hotline. Our phone number is 212-946-0343. You can also reach us at email at vethelp at nilag.org. In terms of the issues that our practice really focuses on, it's veteran benefits are probably the number one thing, whether that be service-connected disability compensation, non-service-connected pension, survivor benefits, uh, TDIU, as well as discharge upgrades. We do housing work, so eviction prevention, landlord disputes, or unsafe uh, or hazardous housing conditions. And then because we are in the public benefits unit, we do a lot of work with uh, accessing Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security Disability, Supplemental, uh, Supplemental Security uh, Insurance, SNAP, public assistance. And then we do some advanced planning as well, including wills, advanced directives, and powers of attorney. 
So that's kind of the, the focus of us. But if you have other issues, we always uh, recommend that you reach out and we can see what we can do, or if there's another unit within NILAG that would be able to assist. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ryan and Samantha, for that wonderful presentation. Uh, and last, we have Ms. Colhane. Um, if you'd like to talk a little bit about the Veterans Advocacy Project, uh, just as an overview of the services and uh, point of contact. Sorry, I had to unmute. Um, hi, I'm Coco from Veteran Advocacy. Um, we focus mostly on veterans law. Um, so if you have any discharge upgrade or VA issues, um, in particular access to the VA, um, for straight up benefits claims, we'll send you over to Ryan or um, the city bar. But um, we also have medical legal partnership with um, vet centers. Right now, we are only in the Bronx. Um, but you can call us pretty much for anything. We have someone who will make sure that you find the right lawyer if we can't do it. We also do um, eviction prevention and benefits, things like that. And we partner with a couple of the um, SSVF programs, which have you know, arrears for veterans um, who are facing eviction. So we can help you either get the arrears or um, those organizations can help you move. Um, what else? Um, any GI Bill problems, VA pension, overpayments, things like that, you can help out. Um, I think that's about it. We really just want to make sure that you get to the right resource. Okay, great. Um, and how, what would be the best way of contacting your organization? Oh, sorry. So our intake line is 646-602-5620. Uh, and um, you can also email us uh, at contact at veteranadvocacy.org. Thank you again so much. And we will, we will be in touch. We do appreciate this for our 3,300 plus veterans in our CUNY system. We appreciate you taking the time out on these presentations to them. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.